In this lecture, we're going to talk about group 7a elements, also known as group 17 according to our newer system. Now these guys are known as the halogens, and we're going to look at five halogens. Now fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine are all very common non-metallic halogens. The fifth halogen, which is a metalloid, is the least common halogen, and that's called astenine with the symbol AT. Now, we're not going to really talk about this guy too much because he's not very common, but you should know that aside from these halogens, there's also the fifth halogen called astenine. Now, halogens in general are very radioactive. And what that means is basically it reacts, or halogens react, with even the most stable compounds causing damage. For example, halogens are deadly to humans or other organisms. And if we inhale some of the halogen gas, we will suffocate and die. Because halogens react in our body in a very detrimental way. Now let's look specifically at fluorine. Now fluorine exist in at room temperature in a diatomic gas form, F2 form. So if we inhale, for example, fluorine, the gas, that gas will cause damage in our body and we will suffocate. Now, fluorine is the most electronegative atom out there. In other words, it has the highest affinity for electrons. It is more likely to take electrons away than any other atom. Now, fluorine also only has one oxidation state, negative one, and that means it only forms one bond, no more, only one bond. Now, we'll see that chlorine, bromine, and iodine forms more than one bond, but know that fluorine, the most electronegative atom, forms only one bond, and its oxidation state is negative one. For example, it forms bonds with H, it forms bonds with Na and Ca, but it only forms one bond. Now, let's look at chlorine. Chlorine is a diatomic gas at room temperature, just like fluorine. Bromine is a diatomic liquid at room temperature, and iodine is a diatomic solid at room temperature. Now, these three guys, chlorine, bromine, and iodine, unlike fluorine, can have an oxidation state of up to plus seven. And that means they can all form up to seven bonds. The last important thing you should know about halogens is that halogens can react with the H ion. In other words, in aqueous state where water is our solvent, they can form acids. Hydrofluoric acid, hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, and so on. All the halogens form acids. And in fact, HI is one of the strongest acids out there.